Hey, we never got ready. Who first? We need predictions this year on as far as how many touchdowns you gonna bring back uh, with returns. I mean, most kick returns have a number in mind of what you uh, what you got going this year. Uh, well, last year my number was zero, so anything better than zero, <laughs> it would definitely be uh, helpful for the team. But um, we're doing hard. We're doing good on special teams and working hard to you know switch up the game plan, do different things to get me open um, open holes in, in the in the punt and the kickoff game. So we're we gonna hopefully we can take a couple back this year and um, you know. Break the ice of not having that last year. How many times last year do you think you're like one move away, one whatever away? I mean, a lot. I think I look back to the uh, national championship game uh, a lot. Um, when I got hit, I think if I just looked to my left, I could just break that tackle and you know. But it was definitely a lot of instances where shoe strain tackle or just like a missed block that I yeah. could you know score. But we 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 fixing them things and we definitely gonna be uh, ready for this year. You had a chance to see the new locker room. Oh yeah, we, we uh, I was there at the reveal. Um, I seen it there, and we had uh, we went there another time too. So yeah, we definitely I definitely seen a little bit of it. What do you think? I like it. I, I definitely like it. Definitely better than the uh, old one uh, that we had, but it's more you know it's more I guess convenient for everybody. Um, so but it's a very nice locker room. We definitely uh, we definitely needed it. How has the receiving core changed? Um. I'm gonna say it, it changed. I, th I still think we still the same receiving core was last year. You know, uh, addition with Demetrius here now. Um, I definitely think we. Um, I think we're more experienced um, at um, at the receiving core with the guys coming back and the guys that played. So I think we. I think as a unit we were very strong. We're gonna be. We're gonna be good this year. How long did it take for him to? I don't know, gel or fit in or kind of become one of the guys in the room. I mean, it's got to be a transition period there when you come in. Uh, I don't think it took long. Um, you know, D-Rock, cool, you know, he's a, he a likable guy. Everybody, you know, love him. So it's just more of him, you know, getting the plays down and um, getting used to the system, getting used to how we practice. And all. I think he came along very well. He's doing great right now. So he's definitely a, a great addition to our, to our room. Yeah, you and D-Rock go way, way back. Right. I mean, uh, how long after he announced he was transferring, were you on the phone with him kind of calling him and saying, hey, guy, you know, kind of look this way, huh? How did that work? Well, I didn't know at first until somebody uh, somebody had called me. I was like, hey, you heard about D-Rob? I said, what happened to him? He was like, oh, he transferred. I said, let me call you back. Hey, bro, <laughs> what's up with you? you? You good? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. And you know, I didn't want to pressure him to be like, where you going or come here. I just, you know, just seeing the situation that was going on. But um, I just told him, man, you know, I love you here at Georgia. You might well come and um, play with us. And um, then awesome he came and uh, transferred here. So. Did, did, did he you tell? Know ahead of time? Yeah, did he and tell did you? Did you know ahead of time, maybe before the rest of us did? Uh, I didn't know. Uh, I never really asked him like, like concrete. Like, are you coming here for sure? But um, I feel like it was a good chance that he was coming here. You know, I feel like out of all the schools that he was going to transfer to, I felt like this is the best school for him. And um, so I, I got a little hint that he might have been he was coming here for sure. But I never asked him like directly. Was there some excitement or, or anything like that whenever y'all found out he'd be eligible to play right away? I mean, because that was kind of a, a big deal there for a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely definitely excited for that because he's definitely a great contributor to the room uh, with his, his uh, down the field presence, uh, his natural ability you know, to, to make plays in the open field. So we definitely can use him a lot in, in our room, and um, I think he's going to contribute a lot this year. And he comes here with a lot of hype. If you, if you Like you kind of talked, you've, you've seen that so far in practice, the hype that people talk about with him? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely a, a guy of, of his status definitely going to have a lot of hype around him. You know, I think he's doing very well with the pressure that's on, that's on him coming in, and he's been doing good practicing. and um, so. Um, he, he's really coming along very well. Going back to whenever he uh, had his, his first announcement over at the Hall of Fame, he unveiled the, the picture of Cal and everything. How, how, how shocked were you looking back at that he, he chose Cal to begin with back in those days? Um, that's, that's, that's a long time ago, too. Um, yeah. But, nah, uh, when he when he did that, uh, I, you know, it's more of like not like being mad at the guy. It's just more of like he made the right decision for him at the time. So, at that time, I guess it was his, his right decision for him to go there. And, um, but I guess he came back home, he needed to be home, so now he's here, so what can I say about it?